Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jamin's Daily. We have another episode of Yahoo Headlines, as you can see, ready for you to get my hot takes, which is why you tune in, folks. So don't forget to subscribe. We're on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Podbean, Podbean. Those are the, the podcasts you can find us on. Just Google it. We're on a, all kinds of different podcasts. You can go to YouTube, subscribe, like, share, send it to your friends, comment, smash that like button, folks, and subscribe. But let's have a look here. Well, that almost looks like an optical illusion with all these uh, soldiers in a row, but it's not. It's a war game by Air Force. Bring some bad news. It says the simulation begin. The simulation began with a Chinese biological weapon attack before using a military exercise as cover for the deployment. We're going to lose fast. Ooh, you know, that's this massive clickbait for show. Sure. Mask singer Snail is most famous guest ever. Ooh, that's so subjective. Who's the most famous? How, how, who, who's judging that? I guess Yahoo is. ESPN host crushed by falling set on live TV. Folks, Google it. You can see this. I think it was perhaps uh, Deportes. ESPN Deportes. Because they were like, tranquila, tranquila. Appar apparently he was telling like, chill, chill, chill. You're okay, okay. I don't know. You gotta watch it for yourselves, folks. Fact check. Representative Exalit Alexandra Ocasio Cortez net worth. Do they there is no shame in the clickbait game anymore? Really? You're putting AOC's net worth on your lower thumbnail clickbait? I mean, come on. You can't catch me. Speedy escapes being canceled. Woo woo. That's what I'm talking about for my Mexican mouse, Speedy Gonzalez. You know, they talk about inclusion and yet they want to exclude my boy, Speedy Gonzalez. Not right. I'm glad he's being spared. Patriots get awarded for losing Tom Brady. I think, folks. How this works is when you lose somebody or something like that and you hit uh, in trades and if one team makes the playoffs, the other team gets something. I don't know. We're not going to click into it. So let's find out. Tony Stewart. I don't know. I'm not into racing, folks. Sorry. Michigan man who spent nearly five years in prison is suing Hertz over receipt that proved... Dot, dot, dot. Remember, folks, we were talking about this clickbait stuff. An exonerated Michigan man who spent almost five years in prison for a shooting death he didn't commit is suing, suing Hertz. I, I'm, I'm guessing that Hertz sent, did something on the receipt that, that screwed up his alibi. It's too bad. Can you imagine? Man, bad luck. Blown away. Oh, here's an ad. Here's an ad, folks masquerading as a headline for a 75 inch 4k tv i need one of those to be honest woman exposes cheating boyfriend after receiving a bizarre 3 a.m message wish the dot 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 it's hard to admit when your relationship has run its course the post woman Exposes cheating boyfriend with fitness. Um, man, guys, it's it's harder to do this Yahoo um, Yahoo headlines because of the clickbait. Now you can't even. It's not even a headline. I don't even know what you call this. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to Google it and look into it because half of these headlines now are dot 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 clickbait. It's messed up. So direct payment stimulus check update, folks. Here, here, let's listen. This is important news, folks, about your money. Direct payments delivered in four waves. Which wave will carry 
Madison's Southern Charm co-star reveals Alex Rodriguez made her sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement about what? That NDA doesn't mean that much anymore now that the story is out. He, no, he can sue her ass, probably. Sue her, Alex Rodriguez. You know what? I never heard of Madison, whatever this lady's name is. Until it was put in the same sentence as Alex Rodriguez. And that is the truth. And I'm not even an Alex Rodriguez fan. But I know who he is. I did not know who this Madison on Southern Charm. But now I do. Because she's been in on Yahoo tied to this dude. Alright. Dad wants his wife to stop wearing bikinis around his stepson. Now that he's 14. Hmm, I don't know, folks, ladies, people, I'm sorry, anybody who wants to send me a text message it has a, an opinion, please opine, jamensdaily at gmail.com, you know, if, let's say your your wife's looking, looking great, she's wearing a bikini, she's smoking hot, and then the stepson is 14. It's just kind of like, you know, you're not his mom. So he's just like, you know, I don't know. What do you think, folks? That's kind of, it's kind of bizarre. Dakota Johnson's response to getting removed from family payroll was perfect. Her father, fellow actor Don Johnson, told Seth Meyers that she had big ideas after high school and apparently didn't. Property Brothers shows the Property Brothers show sued by Las Vegas homeowners after renovation gone wrong. You would imagine. I mean, that's bound to happen if they do. If they, if you work a lot, folks, if you're in business long enough, you're probably going to get sued. It's just you know, it's a sad, it's a sad thing that happens, but. Some, I mean, some people kind of try to find a silver lining and, and flip the script and like, listen, you ain't nobody. You haven't come up until you've been sued. Okay, folks, you're really not all that until you have been sued. Okay. Have you searched yourself online lately? Your identity could be a risk. Here's when you should expect your $1,400 stimulus check. Yeah, I got your attention now. I'm supposed to be coming into all kinds of money because I have two kids. It's a family of four. We're supposed to be getting like five grand plus tax write-offs and stuff. So it's just crazy right now, folks. Dana White wants to bet a million dollars that Jake Paul loses to Ben Askren. You know, I want to, my opinion on the whole celebrity boxing stuff, I think it's great. I am... I'm a good. I, I'm always. I've always been a boxing fan, and I'm a UFC fan. But I'm more compelled by who is fighting than the caliber of the competition. Like, I just don't want to always see top ranked fighters fight because if I don't know them, I have no interest in it. And, and sometimes those fights aren't even entertaining. But when fighting is all about emotion and having some some investment in it. So when you know these people, you got something to do in terms of like, let me buy it. Give you a reason. Other than hardcore fans. So I think the celebrity matchups are good for combat sports. The Pentagon is using the SR-71's legendary engine for something. Ooh, the Pratt and Whitney F. No, no. J-58 made the Blackbird the fastest air-breathing plane ever. Or oh, whatever. Capturing the moment a U.S. Border Patrol agent reaches out to a young migrant. Oh, folks. Look at that. Let's have some compassion. Is that a little boy and is somebody holding him? A native Texan, Latif, has been covering the ebbs and flows of the migration story at the border since 2018. You know, folks, we're not going to get into immigration because it's kind of a, um, 
I'm sure just the word immigration is probably flagged here on YouTube. So we, we don't want to, you know. George W. Bush, way back in the day when he was governor of Texas, said it well and understandably. He was talking about how, you know, he understands the human, the humanity in which people come for a better life. And, or, and in many cases, you know, men, you know, men come at first and then they bring the families, but they come, they're looking for work. They want to work. And so th this is an interview probably right before he ran for president. So maybe in the late nineties, even when he was governor here of Texas, but what's going on now is way different. We're talking about whole families, unaccompanied minors. So this young child, you know, child, you know, teenagers, 14 year olds is showing up. So it's crazy folks. I, all I say for the folks that watch Jamin's Daily, you need to, you know, Google it and read multiple sources and be educated, you know, figure it out for yourself. Don't let, don't let somebody tell you what the truth is, folks. You need to find it for yourself. Subway customer baffles employee with unreal sandwich order. If you go to Subway and make, and try to make them do some crazy order i don't know i think that's kind of a jerk move if you ask me but i don't know you're supposed to have it your way i guess right or is that burger king is that burger king when you have it your way i don't know taco bell bring back iconic fan favorite for limited time I, I actually clicked this earlier folks and it's some kind of like cheesy gordu cheesy no 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 it's a Chi, it's some kind of chalupa, but cheesy. There's like no meat in it. A 60 billion surprise in the COVID relief bill. Tax hikes, folks. Nah, I'm not surprised, folks. Listen, taxes are going up. Gas prices are going up. What did you expect? They told you when you had a decision on to on who you wanted to vote for. One person was saying, "Listen, we want to keep taxes low, and we're going to do everything we can to keep." not tax you as much as we can and then the other person was like you know you know we're gonna tax we gotta tax so taxes are going up folks that's that's what happens they told you prosecutor man propped dead wife on sofa in front of kids yeah this is crazy a southern california man who killed his wife propped her up propped her buddy up propped her body on a sofa told his children she was drunk this is crazy. But I guess not unbelievable. There's crazy people out there, folks. A monster storm to bring several feet of snow and a tornado threat. Where? Where is this going to happen, folks? I don't know. I can't tell. Fresno, maybe? That's what it says. Storm? No, no. That's weather news. Come on. Let's move on. Let's see if we can find something interesting body of 16 year old kayaker found 100 miles away from where he disappeared oh that's terrible he's all you know this is the thing folks you can never trust the new the the photos like here's a photo of this young he looks young now and maybe he was still he was very young when he like this this photo i'm wondering how long ago that photo was because we've seen it before where they will use a photo that's like three or four years. That just makes them look way younger than they actually are. But it's said that he's died and disappeared and stuff. Condolences to his family. What the heck is a 16-year-old? I don't know. We, that's why we don't click it. It's just a headline. So who knows what the story is, folks. You know, that's the good thing about this sec you know, this uh, this show when we just do the headlines. I'm giving you the headlines, and if you like it, you can make a mental note, and then boom, you go and Google it, and you find it for yourself. You read the whole article instead of just the headline. Instead of just the headline. Parents have viral reaction to new photo app. Uh, I don't know. You know. I don't have a lot of apps on my phone, I don't think. 
I know some people who have a lot. Just never been into like researching and looking. Like I don't go to the every time I go to the app stores because I whatever I'm going to look for a specific app. But I'm sure there's people who go onto the app store just looking for new apps to download. This is something that uh, you know sparks their interest of sorts. You know, oh, let me download this app. Nah, not me. It's not my style. I guess I don't know. Stacy Dash. Oh, I was glad I was reading this earlier, folks. And I was like, I hope this headline is still on Yahoo later on. Stacy Dash apologizes for political past. Can you do that? Is that even allowable? She says, I made a lot of mistakes. So now she's denouncing Trump. Even when they had her on Fox, I mean, she, this is what you call grifting, folks. She was a grifter. And now it's over. Now she's apologizing. I don't know. You know, the thing about... So here's Stacey Dash, beautiful woman. POC, person of color. But if you're a person of color and you're on the right, you know, you're conservative, right wing, then you're no longer a person of color. You're like, you for, you're like, you have to like... So you know, like when we make jokes with other men about your man card, like you got to turn your man card in. Well, once you become a conservative, you have to turn in your PO, POC card. You don't have it anymore. I mean, I don't know. That's that's kind of how I see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Google me. Not Google me. Email me. JamesDaily at gmail.com. Banned Uber attacker says she'll take Lyft. Then Lyft bans her. <laughs> I saw this pathetic excuse for a human being on Entertainment Tonight. Don't ask me why I was watching it, because I wasn't. My dad was watching it. But I saw it. And this girl was on the show talking so much smack, like she's like about that life, all hardcore, tell, saying this dude was lucky that she didn't have, what, like a gun on her? I mean, oh my God. It made me it made me sad for the state of humanity when I heard this girl. Look, look at this photo. Look at her. She's got her she looks like a freaking monster to begin with. But if you were to hear her talk on entertainment tonight, it it gets even worse, folks. It's even worse. But you know, ultimately I, I'm sure she's super happy about it. She's probably getting a bunch of um, you know, uh more followers on her Instagram and bull crap like that. So that's all that matters to the kids nowadays. Uh, let's see what's coming up on here, folks. Something about thieves still a 500,000 Richard Mill watch from my L.A. jeweler in broad daylight. I don't know. When I look at these watches and it's like 500 grand, it's crazy. Trump told chief elections investigator in Georgia she'd be praised if the right answer. What, what, what? Oh, dang it. Miranda Lambert. Remember her? She was, um, she was married to Blake Shelton. She's not as famous anymore. She would have stayed married to him. She'd be more famous. But she's on Yahoo, so. She must be kind of famous. Oh, Florida Panther. How one photographer caught a elusive Florida Panther. Oh, that looks nice. Guys, we're going to, we're at 20 minutes. We're going to take a break and, and come back. And maybe we're going to do maybe a Huffington Post woke moment. That's always fun. Because some of these Yahoo, when, when you get way into it, start stuff. Oh, family of black five-year-olds says Arkansas teacher made him clean out clogged toilet. There we go. You know, that's actually, we went through a, a bunch of clickbait before we came into the racist clickbait. So, it's actually um, a good, I mean, uh, encouraging. Guys, when we get back, 
we're going to finish off with a segment of something on the internet, folks. Until then, stick with us. And folks, we're back from the break. Welcome back to Jamin's Daily. Don't forget, this show is sponsored by Jamin's... No, not Jamin's Daily. This is That's the name of the show. This show is sponsored by Sage Choice Insurance Agency. You can give us a call at 361-400-2411 or just go to quotefromjamin.com. Get a quote over, you know, on your smartphone or on the internet. Super secure and easy. Sends us info. We get in touch with you. Save you money on your home, auto, business insurance, windstorm, flood. You name it, folks. As you can see, somehow this Yahoo, no, HuffPost is not coming through right through this OBS software. So it's not looking good, but I see it well. So what I see, I'm going to let you, I'm going to try to tell you what I see, folks. And so if you see right there, there's this, um, looks like a map. And it's all in black, but it says Citizen Sleuths launch a slick new website to hunt down capital insurrectionists. And folks, if you know anything about Internet sleuths, they ruin people's innocent people's lives because they say, oh, so and so is there. And you're like, "Uh, no, that's not me. But by that time, nobody cares. Now, all these losers on the Internet are coming after you. And it can very easily be a case of mistaken identity. So if you're a citizen sleuth, you're a loser. Okay, folks? That's my opinion. Hot take. Hot take from Jamin. What else? Oh, here we go. It's time to accept that miscarriage is a normal outcome of pregnancy. Miscarriage is not a disease. Whoever said it was. Who is saying this? I don't, I don't, you know, I know a lot of times people want to proclaim, like, maybe this needs to be said, but I don't know who's, who even asked this question about whether or not miscarriage is a disease. I think most people who don't even know anything about it would say that it just kind of happens, perhaps. They get it. So good i mean we can move on i guess what is sleep divorce and is it healthy for a miscarriage oh, not a miscarriage see I'm, not, I'm still thinking about miscarriage no what is sleep divorce and is it healthy for a marriage it's not folks if you want to stay happily married you need to sleep with your spouse okay and if they snore a lot i don't know they make all kinds of things there's products in the market, folks, that you can purchase and try to, you know, make things work. Oh, there, there's some hardcore woke stuff on here right now. I know how Meghan Markle feels. All black women do. What? But isn't Meghan Markle half white? So it's just... You know, that's kind of, I don't know, I guess he's, he's black. If you're half, if you're black and half white, but you can be fully black. Like Drake. I think Drake is half Jewish and black, but he's just black. So it's kind of, I don't know, I need to talk to somebody in the community who can explain this to me better. Because I don't want to be, you know, sounding ignorant or anything like that, folks. It's just, you know, I think it's fairly peculiar. I want to know. Somebody explain it to me. I'm kind of ignorant when it comes to this. Lady Gaga's House of Gucci. You know, folks, I don't know. We're going to move to something else because you can't even see what I'm reading. And you can't see, you can't make out who these people are. So, I tried. I don't know why it's not coming in right. But we're already on, we're at 25 minutes, folks. This is what happens and now I couldn't even see what the audio was looking like because I was doing the um, the interact so I could make this thing move up and down. And now I'm, I can see myself talking and I'm like, uh, there was probably this whole delay the whole time. Well, anyways, you know, folks, in the next episode, I just didn't have enough time 
to really give put into it like I wanted to. But I'm going to do this next, this Chernobyl mini series. I watched it. Man, it was so good. I want to do a uh, like a review. But in depth, take some time on it, folks. So in an upcoming Jamin's Daily episode, we're going to do a review on Chernobyl miniseries, which was on HBO Max. So maybe put that on your calendars. Anticipate the anticipation. So I can barely hold. I can barely contain myself, folks. So anyways, thanks for joining me again. I'm, I, I was telling my buddy, I was like, man, it's getting, it's getting a little harder to just get up for it. You know, I find that I have a little bit more fun doing the interviews. So I think I'm going to try to really just line up interviews. I've been doing the Yahoo, the Yahoo uh, headlines because it's just easy. You don't have to prep. I just read the headlines. And maybe it sucks. I don't know, folks. Nobody emails me to tell me <laughs> either way. But, you know, it's only a matter of time. You just got to put them out there, folks. That's what I've been told. So I'm glad you're sticking with us. We appreciate the, the uh, any so new subscribers. Like, share. Smash, folks, the like button, the subscribe button. And, you know... Stick with us because the best is yet to come.